Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we are going to do Roxy's weekly challenge today. And she was making some tall envelopes, and I just drug out some different papers. I think, if I'm not mistaken, because this has been in my stash for a while, but I think this is that Lynn Art Studio, if I'm not mistaken. And I think this may be too. I'll try to find it and link it below. If I don't, uh, just nudge me in the comments. <laughs> We're also going to be using some of um, Kara Brandon Creations on Etsy, and I'll link her store below. These are some papers that she did on her last digital, so I thought we would use some of that. And I have kind of started just a little trial to see if I knew exactly what I was doing. This is called the Gratitude Butterfly Kit. That's got all these flowers and butterflies on it. And that's Kara Brandon. I believe it's Kara Brandon Creations. Rachel folded hers where her seam would be in the back. I, I'm going to try to do mine a little different. Not that I didn't like hers. Hers are beautiful. But since I have these papers that I want the flower to show on, because see the other side's kind of plain, I want this to be the front. So I think I'll try to put my seam on the side, I believe. So let's see if we can do that. I am going, I just folded this, and I'll tell you the measurements and all of that in just a minute when I get it trimmed off. And see, that'll make a good tag right there. All right, so... I folded this over at three and three quarters. That's where I folded that over. That was I was able then to get all of my flower on there. And then I cut the back piece a half an inch wider than this, so four inches on the back. And that way I'm able to fold it over, get my flower, and then still have this little piece to fold in. So the whole piece is cut at eight inches. So eight inches, and this is just a, a eight and a half by eleven is what it was. So now I am going to score this edge because if I don't, I will not get it straight. I know. So I'm going to try my best to score it. I don't want to drag out my big score tool, so I'm going to try to use this one. And I'm just going to score right down beside where it folds, and hopefully. We can get that folded in then. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's leave that right there for a minute. So this is going to be the side that I fold in right there, and then that'll glue down to there. So I won't have my seam on the front or the back, but then my flowers will show. Because if I had folded it half and half, my flower would, would not have shown. And then we're going to fold up the bottom, and it's going to be about a half an inch too, somewhere around that. You can... You can measure if you want. I'm just kind of folding the way I want it to look. And then you fold over the top just a little bit. Ever how much you want to. You can fold it a lot or little. I just don't want to cover my flowers. So therefore, I'm not folding mine very much at all. All right. Now we're going to cut away some pieces. Now, I know that I want my flap to come over this way. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut that little piece off, and then for the bottom, I want this piece to fold up, so I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to cut that little piece off. So you see I'm leaving on from the back, this is the back, I'm leaving this for my flap, and then that to fold up in the front, and then of course you leave this part, so this other will be cut off see if we can get this done. I'm going to cut in at a little bit of an angle there, and then I'm just going to go straight up that score line. I don't know what I'll do with my flap yet. I may, may angle it. I don't know. I may round it. Who knows? All right, now this piece is going to be your front, so we're probably going to angle that down a little bit more so that you can get your tag and things in and out of there. So what I'm going to do is just I'm not folding it over, I'm just placing it like that. Let's see, let me try to hold this to where I can cut it. And then I'm just going to go in and do a cut like that. 
can see that's just a little V cut and now I, I can get my hand in and out of there and my little flap will still cover it. And then down here, we're going to angle that a little bit and then angle that piece a little. So a little cut out there and then same over here, only we're going to cut all the way across that bottom there. Now I will link Rachel's channel below and you guys go over and check her video out because she's doing it probably the right way and I'm probably doing it the wrong way. <laughs> but I, I go a little rogue every now and then as you guys know. All right, now I haven't started a timer or anything. I may not, I don't know. I'm just gonna, cause I, I edit my video anyway, so I don't ever know if it's gonna be 40 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit more of this off because it still shows toward the front. So we're gonna angle that down just a little bit more. Like that, okay. Now this is printed on just a, a regular copy paper, probably 110 pound, so it's not very heavy, but it's gonna be heavy enough. All right, let's go ahead and cut that little tiny piece off right there because it's trying to fold over on me. All right, so that's gonna be the front. Now these pieces you can fold to the inside if you want to, and I think I might, let's see, let me fold that a little bit straighter so I can get all of that on there or up under there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. And see, my seam will be here and here, but the way I'm gonna glue it down, you're not really gonna see it. Now, you could round this if you don't want a V there. I'll probably round some, and who knows what I'll do with the rest. Let's see, now do I want these corners rounded off? I think so. Or you could angle them if you wanted to. But I think I'm just going to round these off for myself. Okay. And then that will go together like that. And there's our little flap. Okay, I like that. I'm sold. Now, if you, you don't have to put a flap on these, she said. If you don't want to put a flap, don't. Just make tall pockets. Okay, then I'm going to fold that over as far as it'll go. And cut a little bit more right here because I didn't get that cut out exactly right. Okay, there is the first pocket finished. And you can glue it down on the back, have another tuck behind it, then have it like a little secret pocket in there if you wanted. All right, that's cute, I like that one. And we'll come back and decorate in a little bit, do a little bit of embellishing on them. I don't know how much I'll do because I don't want to cover up my flowers there. Okay, let's try, let's do, let's try a butterfly. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get, I may have to cut a little of this side off to get my butterflies in there. This is also a Kara Brandon piece of paper here. Let's see. I like to make this part about three and a half and not too much wider. Because if you do, it it looks kind of funny in your journal if you make it a lot wider than that. So that's three and a half right there. Okay. So I got most of my butterflies on there, didn't I? And now we're just going to put it in and cut this back piece, leaving about a half an inch to fold in. And you can make these narrower if you wanted to. And then that piece that you cut off, it can be your, your tag that, you, that goes on the inside. So whichever way you want to. All right, we're folding that up. I'm going to go ahead and use my little scoring tool here. Because my hand folding is pretty crooked. Okay. 
Okay. So, what are you guys up to today? Is anybody crafting today, or are you just laying around watching TV, or what are you? Are you having to work today? What's going on with you? Now, I'm going to lose some of my top butterfly, and that's okay. It can't be helped, so I'm just going to fold down a little bit at the top. This is actually leaving my pocket at seven inches, which is fine because my journals are usually about eight and a half tall. So that's what I'm going to do right there. Now we're going to open it up and I'll mark again the parts that we're going to cut off. We're going to leave that. We're going to cut this off. I'm going to cut this off. This, leave that one and then cut this one. Well, I have started on my new medicine that the doctor sent me in yesterday. You know, he took me off of that other antibiotic because I think I was allergic to it. I don't know. I had a very adverse reaction. Normally, I don't because I've, I've taken amoxicillin before and I never, never had a problem. But he said, my chemicals in my body have probably changed and now I can't take it anymore. So he called me in another one, and so far, so good. It's not hurting my stomach, um, but I am eating lots of yogurt with it. And I even resorted to drinking buttermilk, uh, of high-cultured buttermilk that's specifically for, you know, stomach problems, and it's a probiotic, that kind of thing, so... Whew, it's hard to get that stuff down. I used to love buttermilk when I was growing up because my mother, she kept it all the time because she loved it. But <laughs> I don't really care for that thick stuff. <laughs> it's pretty rough to get down. Okay. So I'm going to fold that one in again and I'm trying to decide what I might do here. I might just do a little angle cut just not much just a little see if that'll be enough yeah that'll be enough so we just did just a small angle cut i am gonna try to even this up a little bit yeah benji came over last night was working some here doing some things and he he believes strongly in all kinds of probiotics. He takes he drinks kabucha, kabucha. Ever how you say that? And uh, so he brought the buttermilk and said, "Lisha said you was having trouble with your stomach." He said, "Here, drink this." <laughs> so I did, and I ate. He bought me brought me a big thing of yogurt. So I've been drinking on that or eating on that. Let's see. Let's just do a little curve here on this. A little bit more of an angle cut there. Yeah, I like that one. All right, and I think we may be ready to fold this up. Let me make sure that I don't have anything showing. Nope, I don't think I do. So, and I know a lot, a lot of you guys said, take probiotics. Um, Eat yogurt. I have. That's what I do normally. I just didn't have any yogurt in house when I started on the antibiotics, and I truthfully I didn't even think about it because, like I said, I had never had problems with amoxicillin before. My now my two girls can't take it. Alicia's highly allergic to any kind of penicillin, and uh, and has been all of her life since she was two when we finally discovered what was making her break out and swell so bad. But, um, and then Melina has, she can't take it, but I've always been able to take it. Never had a problem before, but I guess my components are all messed up. <laughs> There's another. I like that. Let's try this one. I love this page. Isn't that pretty? I hate to leave, to cut out part of that flower, but I want to get this flower on the front. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit. And again, this is just printed on regular copy paper. I didn't, um, I didn't put any extra thick paper in there or anything. I can always print this one again, so 
Not to worry that I'm going to lose part of that back flower. Let's see. I'm going to fold it about right there. Yeah. And then we'll cut this off and leave about a half an inch. And if you don't like doing them this way, do them the way that Rachel did hers because their hers were absolutely beautiful. It's just that I wanted to get the flowers and things on mine, and I couldn't if I folded it the other way. Okay, let's go ahead and score this. So anyways, I do feel better today uh, as far as my stomach is concerned. And my head and sinuses don't seem to be bothering me as bad as they were. So we, we shall see. Tell you, medication is just my body says I don't like that stuff. I could never, I don't think I could ever be like a druggie or anything <laughs> because I don't think my body would tolerate all that stuff. Oh, where does where's my score line? There it is. I had though, when I think one reason my stomach is so bad now in my older age. Because I've always kind of had some stomach problems. Because when I was young, before I was even a teenager, I had ulcers. Um, so I've always had a little bit of a stomach issue. But it seems like it's just gotten worse in my old age. In my old age, which I think a lot of things do, don't they? Things just don't walk, work like they used to. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to mark it again for you. Just... Just so you can see it. It helps me when I do this and then I don't accidentally cut off the wrong thing. Maybe you can see where I marked it. Yeah. Just remember the back part, you want to leave that, the backs, that's going to fold over to the front. So, I'm going to go straight up that score line because I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. And then straight down this score line. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the front as I go this time. Just cut a little and I may, I probably, I'm not getting this anywhere near straight, <laughs> but that'll do. You can make you a little template and uh, cut it like that. Just use your template each time. Okay. So there is that one. Now, we're just, I don't remember. I think Rachel made a ton of them. I don't know. I may not get but two made. I'm kind of slow with this. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that. That didn't look so bad. But I am going to, I think I'm just going to cut these corners at an angle this time. Pretty good, pretty good angle and just leave a, leave a little bit there to fold over. See if that's about right. Yep, that'll work. Right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and fold this up. Put our glue on it. Alright, now just make sure that you get it lined up as good as you can. That way your pocket won't be all crooked. Ask me how I know. Okay, there's another. And I think I want to make one out of this piece of vellum. I think. Let's see. Oh, this would look cute on the front, I think. Or maybe that. I don't know. Let's go ahead and cut it down. I think I might just tear it. Yeah, let's just tear it. And uh, then we'll have to tear it the other way, too. Now, this is a piece of vellum. We had this in the shop last year. So... I don't know that this is even available anymore, but if I can find it anywhere, I'll link it for you. Okay. Now, I just tore that at eight and a half tall and eight wide, so I think that'll be big enough for us. Yeah, that gets all of my 
flowers on the front. I know this is a, um, oh, what is this? This is a Crafter's Companion. I know that, but I just don't, I don't remember the name of the paper pad. And I know we had it in the store last year. I can't grab a hold of it. Now, on your vellum, you really need to score it at the right place the first time because if you know vellum, once you score it, you can't get that score line out. It's not like paper. It's not forgiving at all. It's pretty well pressed over when you fold it the first time. It gets a big crease in it. And then, hmm, I don't want to lose much of my flowers, so I'm going to fold it just a tiny, tiny bit. I just want to make sure that it's not taller than my journal will be. No, it's seven inches. That's good. Okay, now let's open this back up and do some cutting. As you can see, see how the vellum has that white line where it folds it's meant to stay that way at least it's easy to see cut off though That's our pieces cut. Yes, there we go. So we've got that one now. I like that. I like that little torn edge there. That's cute. I know it's hard for you to see. It's a little torn edge there, and it's just a little rugged. It's going to look pretty when it's got some ink on it. Now I'm going to grab my Barely Arts. To glue this together with. This also gives you your full pocket. Uh-oh, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut this down. So let's do that before we stick it. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, the folding like this on the sides and the bottom, it gives you that full pocket. All of that room from here to here is pocket. Now remember the trick on your vellum. When you put the Barely Arts glue on there, you're going to have to press it really well for it to adhere. This vellum is very, very thick. So there's a little piece here where I pulled it up that it's not wanting to do like I want it to do. So I'm going to put more glue there. Then I'm going to use my bone folder and give it a really good smush. There we go. And then that will fold over. Okay, now let's see. Which one do we want to do next? We've done a butterfly. We've done flowers. Um, what about this one? This is another, I'm pretty sure this is Lynn Art Designs. I've just had it in my stash and hadn't used it. And I was trying to find something that was pretty much decorated on the front so I wouldn't have to do a lot of decorating. So I found these and pulled them out. You can also do this with book pages, scrapbook paper, regular paper, cardstock, whatever you have. Doesn't have to be digitals or anything like that. All right, then we'll have to make some tags to go in these. It's gonna be some big tags. And I'm gonna fold this one over a little bit more because I don't have to worry about losing my flower. And then let's fold this in. 
Rachel, I hope you don't mind that I'm doing this a little bit different from you. <laughs> I just, I folded some the other way like you did and I, I was losing all of my flowers on my pieces and I didn't want to lose them so I decided I'd do it a little bit different. Still turns out the same basically but it's just a little different as far as the fold is concerned. And And I'm just going ahead and cutting a little bit at an angle on my little flap there. Sorry, I was concentrating on getting around this curve and doing it halfway right. And then straight across the bottom. Isn't that one pretty? Ooh, I love that flower. Very, very pretty. Just make sure that my score lines are pressed in well. Okay, got a little piece right there that needs to cut off. And then we'll go ahead and glue this together. Oh, someone asked me what size this Barely Art is. Uh, they said they liked this particular size. This is the mini. And in the mini, or in all of them, you get different tips, I think three different tips, and then your little spigot and this um, this little bottle. And then you can just buy the refills if you wanna do that. I like the mini, I mean, it fits my hand well, and it, they're not hard to press at all, so it doesn't, doesn't hurt my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and cut another little piece of this off because it's trying to show through, or show up, trying to show up on the front. There we go. All right, and then that can fold over. I'm getting this look, that little bit of edge there that I have to cut off each time. And I think, let's see, how can I, I think I can do this. Maybe, no, maybe not. Okay, let's, I just wanna take these sharp corners off. So I'm just gonna round it with my scissors. There we go. Now then, oh yeah, I like that better. Got that little rounded edge on there. So cute. All right, let's see how many we've got so that I need to do a little bit of embellishing to them before I just, I mean, I can just keep making these, keep making them and keep making them, but, oh look. Look at that. I love them. Thank you, Rachel. Great idea. And I'm not going to have to put very much at all on these because they're pretty just like they are. So let me grab some labels, maybe. Now, I have some more paper here if we have more time. But I'm not sure that I'm going to have more time. I'm going to grab one of Katie's labels. And this is blue, but I don't mind the blue and the green together. I think that works well. Okay, I think we'll put that right there. Hmm. I don't I don't really want to embellish them a lot. All right, I'm gonna put this down. I'm still thinking about how I want to embellish. Okay, I drew out a few stamps and I think I'll put Queen Elizabeth right there. I think that's her. In her younger day. Okay, let's put the Queen down there. And I, I'm pretty sure that Rachel put stamps on hers, I believe, if I remember right. I was very sleepy when I was watching it, but I think she did. And now we have the stamp there, and then I have this little cancellation stamp. And I'm going to dip it in my VersaFine. And I really don't want it dark, so let me grab a piece of paper to stamp on first. Okay, I'm just going to stamp on the back of this. And we'll do a little cancellation there. There we go. Second generation stamping, that way you don't have it. It's not real dark. So, I like that. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to that. 
Not that I know of right now. I might do something else when I start to put it in a journal, but not this minute. Okay. We've got this one. And let's see what other words we have over here. I haven't cut all of these out yet. I need to. Okay, I like that one on there. So I think we'll put it down. And here again, I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to the front of this. I don't want to cover up my butterflies, and I just don't think it needs it. It would take away, I think, if I added too much. Okay, then we need a little stamp up here. Let's put that pretty blue one on there. And let's see, this is a... Berlin stamp Berlin and I bought these stamps off of Etsy I just typed in vintage stamps and it this pulled up and they're original stamps that have been used so there is that let's go ahead and ink around this one to just to finish it off and you could pull your different colors of ink I'm just going to probably do all of them in the same color but you could pull you know your purple ink for this or a green ink for the other ones just whatever all right and then we'll do a little bit of a cancellation let me grab a paper to stamp on the back of and we'll put that down there there we go I'm ho I hope I was in frame when I was doing all that. I was way down here, wasn't I? I'm sorry. I wasn't looking up. I was real excited about doing this. <laughs> okay, there's one. Let's try this one. This is gorgeous. Now, you could also put lace on these. Do all different sorts and kinds of things. What about we put this one with the blue butterfly on it? This is also... Our designer, Katie, this is one of her creations. And they are on our website as a free download. You just go to our website and then go to our blog. And they're a free download there. If you don't find it, you just go over to the right-hand side where it shows all those months and just keep clicking around on anywhere it says freebie and you will, you'll find it. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that with that blue in the background and it's got a little gold flicking in the background. I like that. Okay, so there's that. So let me go ahead and ink. All right. Now, a little stamp. Let's see what I might have in this little torn up bag. Oh, that one. That goes good with that, with the green and the blue. I think I might just use that one. This is a World Peace Through Law stamp. Now my little cancellation stamp, I got that off of Amazon many, many years ago. I think it's one of those things that comes from China or something. Because I only paid just a little bit for it, but I really like it. And let's do, let's do a little at an angle because, you know, when they cancel them, they go in every direction. There you go. Oh, I love these. Thank you, Rachel. All right, let's see this one. When I'm thinking that stamp right there might work on here. It's a little bit, almost the same color, though. Let's try something different. I don't know, we might go with that one or the darker one. Right now, let's find a label. That one's a little bit too small, so I don't want to do that one. Oh, I don't mind that one on there. Whoops, here I go, I'll frame again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not looking up. I'm so excited about doing these. And I got my ink up there that's pushing me down, so I'm sorry. I'll try my best to go back through and show them real slowly. Put that right there at the bottom and hmm, I don't remember where this label came from not a, not off the top of my head I don't I know I cut it out 
just a couple of days ago, but I don't remember where I got it. All right, let's see if this one, this might be too big to put up here. Yeah, that kind of takes over the whole top of that. So we might need just a small one. If I have a small one in here. There's a little bitty one. Oh yeah, I don't mind that one. And this is a domestic mail U.S. postage. This one, yeah, it has been canceled. I was trying to say, this one doesn't look like it's been used, but it has. I can see the cancellation marks on it now. And then our little cancellation stamper here. I'm stamping that on the back of that paper. I'll probably regret that when I start to use that paper. There's that one. Cute. <laughs> All right, now we have our vellum. Let's see, what are we gonna do with vellum? I think I might want a little piece of book page down the side here, just like right down through there. So let me grab a piece of book page. I mean to pull the whole thing out, but I did. This is some of that book page that Katie sent me and it's 1859. Love it, I love it, I love it. All right, if I want it down through there, I'm just going to tear at an angle. Yeah, that works. And you can still see my flower, so I'm not covering everything up. Okay. Now, what shall we do? All right, let's put this stamp on there. It's a pretty big one. It says, artist technique, I think. I don't know where I want to put it. I think I want it here to kind of bridge that little skip there, but I may have to put something else down close to the bottom. And I'm just going to put this on a little bit of an angle like that. I'm just going to take this washi, and this is almost a see-through washi. It's pretty thin, and it's got writing on it, and I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. I would like to have a torn edge, but I don't want to have to try to tear it right now. Now, you could clip these on the side of your page. You wouldn't have to glue them down if you didn't want to. But yeah, I like that on there. And then I may put another little piece up here at the top. I love this washi. I don't want to run out because I don't know where it come from. Okay, then we need a little stamp. I may put that one over here. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this stamp off a little bit. I like the colors with it, but it's a little bit big for my little tiny flap there. Now, this stamp, I know, is probably not going to stamp real well on this vellum. But I'm, I could pull out my other ink, but I don't want to get up and go get it. So I'm just going to do the best I can with it and not worry. Not worry too much anyway. There we go. I don't mind that. We'll just put a little bit more over here too. Okay. I think I want something right here. Okay, here's a number stamp. don't think I've used it before, but I'm going to see what it looks like. London. I like that, as a matter of fact. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I like that one, too. Just a little different. They're going to be a good pocket. And these I can cut out and use in my journals. I think that's all I'm going to do to them. And then I need to make some tags. Now, I don't know that Rachel made tags on screen for hers. All right, guys, I think that is all I'm going to do. I know I ran way over the 40 minutes, even though I didn't time myself, but I know I did. And basically... This is it. This is how you make it. So thank you so much, Rachel. I thought I had another one, but I can't seem to put my hand on it right this minute. I will put them all. There it is. I will make sure that I take pictures of all of them and put them 
on our blog and at the end of the video so you can take a good look at those. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.